What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually Funko Pop hunting at a store that we've never been to before called Boxed Vinyl. And I'm actually here joined with me once again is my man Jonathan. I'm back baby. <laughs> He's back. Isabel was just subbing in temporarily but we actually just went into this store. We did our quick little walk around and it's pretty insane. So uh, come check this out with us. There's a lot of truly amazing stuff. So here we go. All right, so here is what the outside of boxed vinyl looks like. And right off the bat, we have to compliment the window coverings here where we actually have some really cool pop culture art plus actual pictures of Funko Pops. Right there, you've got Frankenstein and Shrek. Over there, you've got Cinderella and Snow White. There's, of course, Din Djarin and Groku, Batman and Harley Quinn. Over here, you've got Legolas. Uh, the Demon, Cruella de Vil, some of the Stranger Things characters, and then way over there, it looks like Harry Potter. Yeah, we got Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron Weasley. So pretty cool that they did something unique with the front of their store, but now let's head on in and see what items they have. Thankfully, we're the only ones here. So we actually have a uh, nice little private store tour when you're first coming in, you can see their name right here, Boxed Vinyl, and they actually have some out-of-box pops here on display. We actually really like how some of them are in these dome display cases. I love the way Red Hood looks right there. You've got a couple larger items. Oh, Anakin from the Clone Wars. And then you've got the 10-inch All Might. And of course, you have some really nice more pictures of uh, some cool wall art right there. But look at this amazing store it is so neat so clean i mean just the owner did an incredible job organizing all the displays of course when you first walk in you also notice that they have something that not a lot of stores carry anymore and that is sodas they've got three for 30 on the sodas you've got black adam aquaman right here is hawkman dr fate we also have destro oh look robin Oh, we're definitely taking these Robins. Robin is definitely coming home with us, so I'm gonna put those on the counter right there. Down here, we've got Squidly Diddly, the other Hawkman, Great Garlu, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Here is Sion Ji Hung. Oh, everybody's favorite, the Pan Am Stewardess. There's Creed. Down here, we have Achako, Suyu, Legolas, the Black Light Sally. We have to get at least one Black Light Sally, and then there's Andy Dwyer. So pretty cool to see a store carrying some sealed sodas. You just don't see that too often these days. But um, there's a lot of fire in this store. Not sure where we're going to start. Um, you know what? Let's start right here in the middle section here with the NFTs. Why not? We'll start with some big boys. We have the 999 piece Fred Flintstone with the, um, the giant pitchfork there. Love that one. Then we have Wilma Flintstone holding the super cute little baby pebbles right there, 1800 piece on her. Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone with the water buffalo hat, love that one. And then we have Barney Rubble, 1800 pieces. And these are not the only NFTs. There are quite a few NFTs in this section. We actually have some of the original Turtles NFTs and then there's more sprinkled throughout the store. So if you're an NFT collector, this may be the store for you. Here is Chucky from the Rugrats. We also have the Sunset Shimmer, as well as Freddy Funko Spike, both from the My Little Pony line right there. Over here, and I love how these are all in hard protectors, you know, the hard stacks, and then some of them are even in armors. We've got the beautiful Space Huckleberry Hound. He was limited to only 999 pieces. Then we have Yosemite Sam, the Ghost of Redbeard, that's a big grail for all the Scooby-Doo collectors. Then we have Freddy Funko as Sleestack and Bluto from Popeye. Coming over here, got some of the Game of Thrones NFTs with Jamie Lannister, as well as J. Quinn Hagar. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Over here, let's check out Stretch Armstrong here, 1550 piece on him. Now, since these are all NFTs, obviously a lot of these are more limited than the sticker would suggest. But right here we have Mr. Potato Head as Bumblebee, Mr. Potato Head as Optimus Prime. Both of those are absolutely fantastic. Over here we have Seymour Spider, Elroy Jetson. Right here is Astro, as well as George Jetson. These are beautiful here. 
really nice to see but check out this set we actually have the april fool set look at this baby freddy limited to 2250 pieces the grail from the set freddy funko the drop version where he's actually holding the little max token head and this one gets even better because max token head is actually holding a super tiny version of freddy that one, of course, limited to 999 pieces. Then we have the super hilarious egg, as well as Freddy Funko as Bumblebee. Over here, we have Spock, Klingon, and Scotty, all from the original Star Trek NFT wave. So that was just one shelf, and pretty crazy to see all those. Let's move over here very briefly and take a look at this wall. So this would appear to be the movies wall. You've got a Frodo Baggins glow chase here from Lord of the Rings. Here is a Gollum chase. I also want to compliment Box Vinyl on having just every single item in a pop protector. That is something that you do not see enough these days. Like even $5 pops, $10 pops, they all deserve to be in soft protectors. So Pretty awesome to see that with this store. We've got the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con Summer Convention exclusive Mr. Clark. There's Joyce in the biohazard suit from Stranger Things. There is a Demogorgon chase where he's closed. Up here we have a couple here from E.T. I don't remember the years on this one. I think this is the original E.T. set. Let me see if I can slowly, carefully lift this up here. Yeah, 2014 on Elliot here, and I would imagine E.T is from the same year. So pretty nice to see that. Up here from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, we have Ramona Flowers. She's in the armor, so I think she's one of the pricier ones. Then we have Lucas Lee. That was actually a 2018 Fan Expo Canada exclusive, also from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Coming over here, we have some from the Breakfast Club. We've got John Bender, and this is actually the red, harder to get pre-release Hot Topic sticker. Same goes with Allison Reynolds here. Look at this, oh, Morton Schmidt from 21 Jump Street. That's hilarious. I haven't seen this pop in years, that's crazy. 2015 on him, and they actually have two of them, which is crazy. Here is the 11th Doctor. You also have the Barnes & Noble exclusive 4th Doctor. Over here, you have some beautiful rides. Look at the crystal ship from Breaking Bad. Everybody's always asking for this one. Then we have the Chase Baby with Sam. Up here is a beautiful limited piece from San Diego Comic-Con, or excuse me, from Emerald City Comic-Con. This is the Fui Mobile with Hong Kong Fui, limited to 3,000 pieces. And then you have another beautiful piece right here, which I'm actually lucky enough to have in my own collection. This is the New York Comic-Con 2016 exclusive Indies Ride from Indiana Jones. So pretty insane oh actually i want to highlight some of these as well before we move on to the next wall look at this glow in the dark frankenstein from the universal monsters line we also have metaluna mutant as well as dracula and the wolfman beautiful pieces right there all in hard stacks like they should be and um not bad for the first wall here in the store but we're gonna move on to the next section we have a couple two packs over here that I wanna highlight. We have Ariel and Eric. We've also got Shadow and Super Shadow. That's a relatively newer one, but still really nice to see. Up here, we have a nice limited piece with Magilla Gorilla and Mr. Pebbles here, 3000 piece. And I think this is a 2016, yeah, 2016 on that one. And now let's move over to this wall. Look at this, we got Captain Jack Sparrow. That one skyrocketed in value for a little bit. It's come back down, but Still a nice one for the Disney collectors. Here's the Chase Miguel from the Coco line. The Coco line is beautiful and vastly undervalued in my opinion. Look at this, we've got Underminer from Incredibles 2. We just got the announcement for the Incredibles 3. So that one, you know, that character could be somebody that we see make an appearance in the next movie. Here is the Disney exclusive Pluto. Up here we've got Roger Rabbit and the original Russell from Up. Followed up by the Disney Store logo of Cruella de Vil, Disney Store logo Snow White. Those are awesome to see. There's Pluto in the train car, Grumpy, Oogie Boogie with Bugs. Up there you have the Disney Parks exclusive Figment, as well as the beautiful Flocked Chase Remy. Up there you've got Emil as well, the Flocked Winnie the Pooh with the balloon. You've also got the beautiful Disney Parks, very hard to find, Orange Bird. And then look at that, we've got Hey Hey, and then Pua with Hey Hey, 
And those are good ones to snag as well because we have the Moana sequel coming out pretty soon as well. Down here, I have to highlight some of the Five Nights at Freddy's Pops because I know people are always asking about FNAF. Here is Twisted Freddy, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Wolf. So, And they actually have multiples of these, which is pretty nice to see. Before we get into Star Wars, because there's a lot of good Star Wars that we have to highlight, I want to talk about some of the Sonic Pops. We've got Super Sonic, here's Amy, Metal Sonic, Silver. This is Sonic with the Emerald, which is a really nice one. We also have the classic Sonic right there. Sonic with the ring. Up here is the Flock Targacon Knuckles. First appearance, Super Sonic, which in my opinion is one of the best San Diego Comic-Con exclusives that we've gotten over the last few years. Oh, actually up there, we've got some crazy FNAF pops. Look at the Jack O'Bonnie, Nightmare Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Toy Freddy, Springtrap. Those are really, really nice ones to see. But now let's move into something that I always get very excited to see, the Star Wars section. And you've got some larger items up there like the Porg, Ben Kenobi on Eopi. You've got Luke Skywalker and his land speeder. Uh, what is that? The Han Solo with Tauntaun. Look at Boba Fett and his Slave One. That is a really good deal for that one. That is the best Star Wars pop ride, in my opinion, because it fits in that smaller box, like most of them should. But now let's get to the regular pops. We've got the original Unmasked Sabine, Grand Moff Tarkin, Purge Trooper with the con sticker, which I think I need that one. I think I have the regular shared Purge Trooper, so I might need to grab that. Then we have the Rebels Darth Maul with his metal legs. Here is Clone Commander Cody, the only Clone Commander Cody that they've made to this day. We've got the holographic Kylo Ren. Here is Zeb. That's a good one to pick up because of recent <laughs> leaked trailers. If you know, you know. Here is the Smuggler's Bounty Count Dooku. Down here, we've got one of my favorite troopers of all time from Rogue One with the Short Trooper, aka the, Sher the Scarif Stormtrooper. Got a couple Han Solos. Uh, Din Djarin with Grogu once again unmasked. Here is Cad Bane, the newer version. Here's Greedo. We've got the blue box Hammerhead. Over here we've got the um, Chase unmasked Cobb Vanth. So plenty of goodies here in the Star Wars department. But let's move on over to DC. And what's really nice once again about this store is each section is not only organized, it's also labeled. So we had a little... Uh, Star Wars plaque right here. We have a little DC logo and then next up we'll be taking a look at Marvel. All right, so in the DC section here We've got a lot of goodies and the first thing that catches my eye is a couple more NFTs We've got the Eradicator the uh, Green Lantern right there the DC Excuse me the flash from the DC NFTs as well. Look at that original metallic chase Superman next to the only Superboy pop that Funko has ever made to this day. I love that Superboy. Such a nice pop to uh, own in any collection. We've got a couple graded ones here with the Imperial Palace Batman and Imperial Palace Robin. We'll get to the Marvel section here in just a moment. Here's the DC Legion of Collectors Catwoman. And then coming on down here, we've got an original DC Universe Joker. I don't think this one has a lot of value, but coming in from 2012. So pretty cool to see such an older pop just sitting on the shelves. We've got the Blackest Night Superman. There is the newer Superman Blue. Lex Luthor in his mech suit, which is awesome. Coming on down here, let's see what we have. We have the Translucent Chase Batman Beyond. That one's pretty sweet. And I think that's gonna do it for the stuff that I wanna highlight for DC. Now let's move on into Marvel. Everybody's talking about Deadpool these days and thankfully this store does have some cool Deadpool pops in stock. Check out the Flocked Chase Panda Pool. Love that one. Then we have another fun Deadpool variant right here where he's actually holding the chicken. Here is the cheaper cheerleader Deadpool version. So if you're like me and you don't have that super expensive San Diego Comic-Con glitter one, that's a good one to grab. Then we have Deadpool and Cake, and then the Lederhosen Deadpool. Up here we've got a bunch of Spider-Mans. There's the Oscorp Soup Spider-Man. Uh, let me see, Iron Spider, Octo Spidey. Coming over here, we actually have the original Marvel Collector Core Miles Morales. Most people probably don't know that's Miles Morales, but it says it right there. 
And um, before they had the Marvel Collector Core sticker, it used to be that giant, ugly, red exclusive sticker. Up there, you've got Spider Carnage, original Spider-Man, Juggernaut, Frost Giant, Loki from the Dark World. We've got Spider-Ham, Chase, Hellboy. Look at that Thor from Infinity War where he's got Stormbreaker, he glows, and that's the harder to find Asia exclusive sticker. There's the Emerald City Comic Con Yondu, Glow in the Dark LA Comic Con Mr. Knight. That's a beautiful one. And then you've got a graded Spider-Punk. So pretty cool to see such great Marvel pieces in this section, not to mention, this Punisher might be a good one to grab because John Bernthal is returning to the MCU. He will be in Daredevil Born Again, and I cannot wait for that series. Now let's move on to the sports section before we are going to head into Ad Icons. And I think there's, yeah, it looks like there's an anime section over there as well. So let's talk about sports. I feel like we haven't seen many sports pops in stores these days because everybody's buying them for their collections. The first thing I noticed right here, we have a gold chase, Jackie Robinson, Nelson Cruz, King Felix. Look at that one. That's pretty cool from the Seattle Mariners. Claude Giroux, excuse me, not Claude Giroux, Bobby Clark. I saw the flyers and I immediately thought Claude Giroux. We've got the legend here, Bobby Clark. I know everybody's going to get upset over that. Here's LeBron James, Liv Morgan here. We're moving into some WWE. Undertaker, we've got the Triple H two-pack. Up here, we've got um, Otis, Money in the Bank. Vader, Mr. T, Rocky, both versions, the Funko Shops exclusive and the regular one, Dusty Rhodes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brock Lesnar, Bianca Belair, Asuka, up here we've got Becky Lynch, John Cena, another very old version of John Cena, Undertaker, Triple H, these are the big grails, the uh, Chase, Jake the Snake Roberts, Chase, Iron Sheik, look at that, Alexa Bliss, it just... Keeps going on and on. There was a couple more down here that I wanted to highlight really quick before we get to the next section. We actually have a Patrick Mahomes right there. The football pops, they do a really good job. Same with the basketball, like the NBA pops. The molds are so good. Where When it comes to hockey, they're pretty much all that mold. Baseball too. Baseball, they have some really dynamic poses. But for all the hockey pops, they're pretty much just in that stance. But let's move on to the next section, which is ad icons. We've also got some miscellaneous Freddies. This is one of the best Freddies of all time. And it does not have crazy value, but this came out in 2021 with the virtual fun days. Thousand piece flocked Freddy as Wolfman. The way they made Freddy like into Wolfman here with the flockness and everything is just truly beautiful. Here is Count Chocula, the newer version, Tony the Tiger with sunglasses, the Glow Chase, Ronald McDonald. You've got some of the larger ones here with Snap, Crackle, and Pop. You've actually got two of them right there, which is pretty cool. The Tapatio Man, Stan Lee snuck in there. We've got Wally Warheads, Bazooka Joe, Jolly Bee. Look at the flocked Jolly Bee right there. That one's awesome. This is a big grail too. Jolly Bee and Hetty Spaghetti. Was this limited? Oh, this is the first to market exclusive two pack. I have not seen that one in years. Then we've got the con sticker, Captain Crook, flocked Energizer Bunny, Jeffrey from Toys R Us. This is the golden ticket exclusive. Then we have got Mr. Monopoly from the board games line, Lucky Charms box, but we've got some more NFTs up here. This is the most NFTs I think I've seen in one store ever. Here's Tony the Tiger Jr. That was the, uh, the royalty from that set. And then we have the Sugar Pops Pete, as well as Cornelius from the Kellogg's line. So pretty cool to see those. Just a lot of great ones. Oh, look at that. Proto snuck in there. I know not everybody loves Proto the dog, but we absolutely love him. Now we're going to move on over to the anime and animation section. And I know there's quite a few people that always look for anime being featured in our videos. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We've got the 10 inch glow in the dark Funimation All Might. Over here we have Chaco, All for One, Tamora Shigaraki, Hitoshi, Himoko. We have the My Melody Achoko, or excuse me, Achako, Bats Maru Bakugo, Shin, Kale. Up here we've got the newer Marvin the Martian, Date Night, Agrasuto, Pepe Le Pew, man, that's a big grail. I haven't seen that one in a while. We've got the Chase Metallic Duck Dodgers, Chili Willy Willy Frozen, 
Stewie with the ray gun. Man, that snuck in there from uh, Family Guy. I'm pretty sure that's a 2014 pop. I'm gonna carefully, 2015. Look at that. Super nice right there. As well as the shared blossom from 2016 San Diego Comic-Con. Over here, we've got Goldo, Jeese, Rakome. We've also got Birder. These look like some newer ones. Down here, we have a Chase Tenjin Uzui. Hopefully, I'm saying that somewhat correctly. For the One Piece collectors, we've got Monkey D. Luffy, Portagas. There's Usopp. And then uh, Don Quixano, Don Flamingo. Probably butchered that one. Um, oh, look at all the Rick and Morty. I haven't seen a lot of Rick and Morty lately because I think everybody's been gobbling them up for their collections. Here's Hospice Morty, Pickle Rick, Toxic Glow in the Dark Morty. We just got a brand new Morty Freddy that would go great with some of these Glow in the Dark Toxic ones. Here's the Flock Snowball. Tinkles with Ghost in the Jar. This one was such a bummer because the sticker actually covers up the Glow in the Dark Tinkles, which is, uh, or the Ghost in the Jar which is definitely a bummer. That was a missed sticker opportunity with that one. Here is the hologram Rick clone, Scooby-Doo in the scuba outfit, which sold out pretty quickly last year. And then we have Shaggy from Scooby-Doo as well. So some pretty awesome stuff over on this wall. I mean, in fact, every wall had some pretty great items. We do have some stuff that I wanna show off in these middle sections, but before we get to that, we actually have some soda chases down here in these cool hard stack display cases. So we have the white chase vision, metallic Destro, Andy Dwyer with the sunglasses, Luther in the spacesuit. There is Ron Swanson, the space, or excuse me, snake juice version, him as the speed demon, which I have not seen that one in quite some time. And then we have the Chase Hawkman without his helmet. So really nice little soda chase display. A couple pop pez and such right there as well. But last thing we're gonna do is check out these middle sections where they actually have some miscellaneous stuff. So we have some larger items right here. A bunch of Dorbs. I know there's not a lot of Dorbs fans, but some of these are super cute. Look at this flocked chase Chewbacca Dorbs. Actually. Actually, might know somebody who might want that, so I might grab that. We've also got some cool three packs here: Wolverine, Iceman, and Colossus. Here's the Batman Returns three pack of Batman, Catwoman, and the Penguin. This one's cool too: the Yogi Bear three pack. Look at this: only 500 pieces from 2016. That's crazy. Really nice. You don't see that too often. And then right here, I have to show off some of these beautiful Care Bears pops. Look at this: Glow Chase, Hopeful Heart Bear. Right here, we have got the Trick or Treat Sweet Bear, Bedtime Bear, which I know is one of the toughest ones to get. We've got the Christmas Wishes Bear. Over here, we've got the Good Luck Bear, Flocked Chase Champ Bear. Over here, we've got some of the Power Rangers with Rita, Pink Ranger, Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, and Yellow Ranger. Huge missed opportunity. They did a Freddy as Blue Ranger. Why they didn't do a Franny as the Yellow Ranger is just blowing my mind but uh, sometimes Funko doesn't necessarily like money. We've got the original Raphael, original Bebop, 8-Bit Shredder. Check out these beautiful NFTs. For those of you guys who don't know, this was the very first wave of NFTs. And there were some people asking us yesterday how to do NFTs. People did not know anything about NFTs when these came out. And that's why some of these are very pricey. Here is the Casey Jones, original metallic shredder, and then the Blacklight Bebop. And these all have extremely weird piece counts. Only 1,467 on the sticker, but there is significantly less that were actually redeemed. And then right here we have the beautiful original turtle van with Michelangelo. Coming over here really quick is the rest of the Power Rangers that they have on display. Pink Ranger, Blue Ranger, Dragon Shield, Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, and the other Yellow Ranger. Moving on over here, I know we showed off all these at the beginning of the video. They have some other unique items here. This is a really fun Dorbs ride. This is the Wicked Wench Captain with Pirate Ship. Kind of looks like Blackbeard, but super cool. I'm gonna put that aside right next to the Kermit and Constantine. We also have the It's a Small World Dorbs ride. And then check this one out. This one's actually very limited. This is the 750 piece Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. So pretty cool to see that next to a couple flocked Elmo on tricycles. So 
really cool how they made some of these dorbs super limited. Um, let me see if there was anything else I missed on this side. We already looked at these NFTs. Oh, I wanted to show off these. Look at this. We just pulled this recently in a mystery box, the Target exclusive metallic Lightning McQueen. Gosh, this thing is gorgeous. And then we also have the Walmart exclusive Guido. And these are both very tough pops to find. Oh, they have another one here next to all of these uh, Seven Dwarfs pops. We've got the Walmart exclusive Luigi, another really nice cars pop. So some amazing stuff in this store. If you guys are ever in the area, I will link their website and information below, but definitely come check out Boxed Vinyl. It's definitely worth your time. The outside of the store looks fantastic. And inside the store, it gets even better as it's definitely a little mini Funko Paradise. So we're going to continue to check out what they have. We're going to pick up a few things and we'll see you guys back in the studio in just a moment. All right, guys. So we are officially back here in the studio and that was our official store tour of Boxed Vinyl. They actually have a pretty cool logo. I picked up some of their stickers on the way out and once again i will link their information below so if you guys want to check them out or pick up anything in the store that you saw today definitely don't hesitate to reach out to the store owner now i did not pick up any pops uh even though there were several that was really catching my eye there was a lot of things that i was tempted to buy but with our collection still in storage it's a little bit difficult right now to figure out what i have and what i don't have um, but I did pick up some sodas. So I actually got six sodas. If you guys saw in the beginning, uh, right when we first walked in, there was that cart of sodas. And then the store owner, he actually showed me the back where he had several other characters up for grabs. So I got a nice mixture of six and, um, he said he wasn't sure which ones had had the pull, had the chase pulled and which ones hadn't since he had bought these originally with cases. But I figured... Couldn't hurt to grab a few and rip them right here on the channel. So I actually got three Ursula's. That's all he had left. And Ursula is always very popular. So it's not a problem, uh, you know, selling or trading the extra ones of these. I also got two Vanellope's and a Blacklight Sally. So let me start out with the Ursula's here. I'm hoping from these six sodas, we can pull at least one chase. And another reason why I wanted to grab some sodas in particular is because a lot of people have been asking for more soda opening content. So I'm definitely gonna try to make that happen here on the channel in the next few weeks. First Ursula is just a common. I will unwrap the bag here. I have a feeling, you know, at least two of these Ursulas are gonna be commons, but we're hoping to find at least one chase. So there, that's how she looks. Amazing Disney villain. Would absolutely, of course, love to see more Disney sodas being released. I thought for sure we were gonna get one for D23, but no sodas this year for D23 as exclusives. But here we go, second Ursula. Let me actually show you guys, and uh, maybe we can find the chase. No! No chase on the second Ursula unwrap her here. I always unwrap the black bags just to be sure because you never know. Sometimes Funko screws up. It's rare with sodas, but sometimes they do mess up and they put the wrong figure with the, uh, you know, the wrong uh, hog and such. But here we go. Last Ursula, last shot at a chase. No, no chase on Ursula. So the chase of this one must have already been found but that's okay because as you guys saw too the sodas were ten dollars each they were three for ten so um got a really good deal on those next up let's move into super cute vanellope here from wreck it ralph wreck it ralph sodas have been pretty popular i would say over the last year everybody's been gobbling up vanellope ralph and uh who's the other one um felix super cute fix it felix but here we go, here is the first Vanellope. Oh no, she is a common as well. So, so far we are 0 for 4, but check out the super cute Vanellope. Absolutely love her. The detail with all the candy in her hair looks fantastic, but would love to see the chase here on this second can. I did have that one 
Blacklight Sally. Could that be crazy if the Blacklight Sally is actually our only chase and we only bought one of her, but hoping to get at least one chase. Come on. Let's go. Let's see. Cute little Vanellope. Here we go. Three, two, one. No. No chase on Vanellope, unfortunately. But we got one more shot at it. Blacklight Sally here. We love the black light sodas and the Nightmare Before Christmas ones in particular look extra awesome. The good thing about Sally is her common is just as good as her chase. So either way, I'm happy and overall it's just tough to find sealed sodas in the wild these days. But here we go. Here is Sally and that one unfortunately is also the common. So unfortunately no chases on the six sodas that we picked up, but we haven't ripped a lot of sodas here on the channel, so that was still fun. I do have a big soda battle planned for Joanna and myself coming up probably next week here on the channel, so all of the soda collectors and viewers who are chomping at the bit for soda content, we will have some very soon. So. That was our tour of boxed vinyl. Let me know down in the comment section below which pop or which item caught your eye the most. There was a lot of cool um, you know, pops, of course, a lot of high-end pieces, NFTs. That was the most NFTs that we saw in a while. There were some Dorbs, really cool Dorbs rides, as well as the sodas. So definitely plenty to choose from from the inventory that we showcased here at Boxed Vinyl. So now since today is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday Motivation segment. Every single week here on the channel, we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday Motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week. And today's Monday Motivation coincides with some DMs, some messages, and some questions that we've been getting a lot lately and obviously this time of year there's a lot of hype from fun days and the box of fun and all of the freddies and generally limited pieces that funko is releasing and a lot of people have been asking me which pops to buy so that they can sell them and make more money in the coming weeks or coming months or coming years and that is just a question that I nor anybody else here in the community actually knows the answer to. We do not know if something is going to trend upward or downward tomorrow because we don't know how the market is going to fare out. We don't know what other factors or other announcements that could be made that can influence the price of a pop. pop pops fluctuate every single day. Now, what I like to do is actually make educated guesses with my Funko Pops to buy now videos. I will have another video on the way dropping here on the channel. And that is a video series that I like to do where I suggest that you guys purchase items for your collections before certain pops go up in value so that you can save money and get the pieces that you want the most for your collection without having to shell out more money than you could if you had waited. Now that basis and that video series is fundamentally based on you guys collecting the characters, the IPs, and the lines that you like the most. I do that myself as a collector. There are certain lines that I particularly enjoy collecting like Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. And when it comes to those three lines and it comes to the characters and pops that I want the most, I always want to try to get the best deal on them. And of course, when it comes to Freddy's, I'm always tracking the market and trying to decide when I can purchase items at the most opportune time so I'm not spending more money than I have to. And these questions I feel that we're getting are a result of people seeing items sell for high or maybe extremely inflated prices and they want a piece of that profit or they want a piece of that pie because they see other people getting that money so they want to get that money too. The financial side of Funko is fascinating and I love trending the or tracking the collectible market but at the end of the day the smartest thing you can do as a collector or anybody here uh, interested in the Funko hobby is to buy the items that you like the most of the characters and IPs and stories that you enjoy the most so that way if something does trend downward or it does fall in price that you are not disappointed. There are hundreds of items that I've purchased throughout the years that have gone down in price and I've kept them because those items still mean a lot to me and I bought them with the intention of keeping them in my collection because I enjoyed those characters or those figures or certain variants and vice versa. Of course, I have purchased a lot of items that 
you know, conveniently went up in value. And that was cool to see too. The other thing that I'll say in regards to this, and this is just a side note because I have seen some people become frustrated with the changes going on with Pop Price Guide and HobbyDB and their marketplace for tracking or their database for tracking values. Don't get upset and don't freak out if you see the particular value of a pop go down by a little or even by a lot. Remember, at the end of the day, if you purchase something because you like it, then you shouldn't necessarily be concerned about the value. And if you purchase something older or limited or something that's very hard to find and then and you see the value dip a little bit that is the absolute worst time to freak out and sell because usually with the older items and the limited piece items they do recover and they tend to stable out over time at a certain price range so don't freak out about values going up or down and always buy something because you like it because you enjoy collecting that line or character and you will never be disappointed so that's going to do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching make sure to smash Smash that like button on your way out, subscribe if you're new, and as always, don't stop shooting until you score.